Good morning, shipmates. This is Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Juan Garcia. Eleven years into the longest sustained combat operations in American history, and with a new national defense strategy recently rolled out by the President and Secretary of Defense that by any analysis is based on the sea services and focuses on the Navy and Marine Corps, there's very little reason to believe that the relentless operational tempo that you and your families have operated under for the last decade is going to let up anytime soon. That's why earlier this year, Right here in the, the hangar bay of the USS Bataan, the Secretary of the Navy, the CNO, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, Mick Pond, and the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps gathered to roll out a new initiative we're calling 21st Century Sailor and Marine. Now, it wasn't, in, it wasn't by uh, accident that they chose the Bataan. The Bataan and its crew had recently returned from one of the longest deployments in, uh, in recent decades. They know this is a ship, a ship that was strained and that uh, uh, had asked a lot of their crew and their families. 21st Century Sailor Marine is a set of initiatives that uh, brings together uh, those programs in existence, those in development, and some new ones. Brings, brings them together under one overarching rubric designed to ensure that you and your families have the tools you need to succeed and excel in the coming decade, knowing again that the operational tempo you've known for the last decade is very unlikely to let up anytime soon. Five key focus areas under 21st Century. Safety, readiness, physical fitness, inclusion, and continuum of service. But the two I'd really like to focus on for today's event are physical fitness uh, and safety. Now, the Navy's uh, uh, physical fitness story is a good one. All the trends are going in the right direction. The PFA is a very, very serious process that's taken seriously year-round. No longer do folks uh, uh, spool up for it just twice a year. It's a lifestyle. And sailors uh, know that the consequences of, of three failures in four years is, uh, will have a meaningful impact on their career. Now, when I first showed up for my first uh, uh, Fleet Command out at the old NAS Barber's Point. I'll never forget. The squadron had their first, uh, or had my first PFA, and when we did the mile and a half run. The command master chief lapped everyone, finished uh, uh, a full uh, half mile ahead of the rest of the command, and he did the whole thing while smoking a cigarette. I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen at the time. I said, I want to be like that guy. Well, two decades down the road, we know so much more about how to take care of ourselves, uh, understand fitness uh, in a much more sophisticated way. And at a time we know that we simply can't afford uh, man days laws for illness, for sickness, or for injury, we want to zero in on that. That's why at every command in the Navy, your CFL, your command fitness leader, will be tra trained on a program we call NOFS, Navy Operational Fuel and Fitnessing Standards. It's designed so that your CFL is trained and has the gear and the equipment they need to help you maintain your A game every day, whether you're on a destroyer, uh, some of which are losing their gyms, or a submarine where there may be uh, uh, two uh, treadmills for an entire crew to use, or you're in an expeditionary setting somewhere uh, where there's not access to a traditional gym. Your CFL will provide you with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the tools you need, the exercises you need, uh, and the gear you need to keep yourself fit every day. Now, by the end of this calendar year, in every chow hall, mess hall, galley, wardroom in the Navy, and the Marine Corps, at every meal, three times a day, there'll be at least one entree taken from the USDA's most healthy list and one side dish taken from the USDA's most healthy list. No one's going to tell a sailor or marine they've got to eat their broccoli or their spinach. You're grown-ups. Uh, but at the same time, you're going to be trained on how to keep yourself fit and you're going to have the best options available. Now, what you do every day professionally is dangerous enough. We don't want to lose the sailors and marines um, in their off time to injuries or, God forbid, worse. A great example of this is the motorcycle safety program. All the trends are going in the right direction. The requirement to take the, the beginner uh, rider course is, is reaping real benefits. But there's still some holes to close. Last year we lost 12 sailors in motorcycle mishaps, and in nine of those cases, the sailor had had the intro course, but had never gotten around to either the sport bike course or the expert rider course. We're going to close that loophole, because the last thing we want to do is lose sailors in their off time, um, or God forbid worse. 21st Century Sailor Marine, I urge you to Google it, find out about it, and ensuring that you and your families are taking advantage of the programs designed to ensure you will succeed and excel in the coming decade, despite what promises to be a very challenging operational tempo. I'd like to thank the Navy and Marine Corps Public Health Center for their support of this program and congratulate them on this campaign. It's going to make a difference in the lives of our sailors and Marines and their families, and it's going to keep us ready to execute the nation's business. Thanks for your work. Be safe, shipmates, and we'll see you in the fleet.